at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Back to it after the pick six, Winston. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. That is the exact right play call against that defense. A hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. From the gun, Winston. Touchdown, Saints! Michael Thomas hauling in the Jameis Winston throw. And the Saints are an extra point away from evening this one up. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. We, less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Winston to throw for it. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. 10, 5, and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. And the 49er hands team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. Hey, it's a new right. game now. They don't lie. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49 yard line. Sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. Lance. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayu. But he's brought down in the red zone at the 18 after a gain of 18. First and 10. Got McCaffrey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Right. 
On play action, Lance. This will be caught at about the five. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. Now they'll put a receiver in motion left. And across the goal line, into the end zone, touchdown 49ers. Trey Lance keeping it himself from a yard out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Gold with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14, and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, playing the same tempo, and the same pace. Still a lot of time left. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. They go play action. Winston. They'll get this out to Kamara. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. The vision and speed, two of the attributes that you might say are important for a free safety. And we saw both in evidence there. He's going to air this thing out deep for Thomas. And this one he incomplete. Oh, he couldn't hang on to it in the end zone, and that's one that'll haunt you. And now it brings up third down. Play fake. Winston. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Nick Bosa drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now Winston on fourth down. Going up top. It's caught at the 10. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. To throw, Winston. Flush to his right. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And the Niners are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Off of play action, here's Lance. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. Brings up second and five at the 18-yard line. And the slot man goes in motion left. McCaffrey running up the middle. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Man, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you play strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he's able to take this up to the 30-yard line. It's a game of 10. First down, San Francisco. So first and 10 now from the 30. 
Ready? They faked the handoff. Now Lance. And this one's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now Lance. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 63 yards. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they bring up. Correct on both counts, all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. A fairly short kick from the 14. Taysom Hill on the return. The Saints take over first down 10 at their own 23 yard line. Ready. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Off the play fake, Winston. He'll find his tight end. It's Adam Troutman. First and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Second down at six now from the 42. On play action, Winston. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. That's caught inside the 20. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. From the red zone now, Winston. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. And the Saints are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Again, it's Winston. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Winston. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. Third and goal, Winston. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Facing this big first half deficit, they keep the field goal unit on the sideline. They're going for it. 
Final play of the half here. Winston. Looking for Thomas. He's got it. Touchdown, New Orleans. Oh, a great effort there. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Saints are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. But he is not going to make it into the end zone. They stop him short. So they'll add only six as we come up on halftime. Boy, still a half. Plus to play, but it is a two-score game. They're going to go onside kick early. And the 49er hands team does its job. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Lutz now to kick this one away. From way up at the 23. The Niners take over first down at their own 21 yard line. set to get this drive underway. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in the touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we that we're going to be successful in this one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. To throw on second and 10, Lance. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And the slot man goes in motion left. A man who played collegiately here in Louisiana, Elijah Mitchell. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it at third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Have a little courage there to call the run. And boy, they were successful. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's Demario Davis navigating his way into the backfield for a tackle for loss. On second down, McCaffrey. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Throwing his lance on third down. 
He's got this complete to Ayu coming out well. And he's not going to get the first down. He had to get to the 30, but he's a yard or two short. He'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to make it fourth down. Fourth down field goal try coming, so Lance is off, and on comes Robbie Gould. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. The kick by Gold is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the three. It was fourth and one, and I think you were doing what I was doing. I was looking down at the sideline. I'm not sure the offensive unit wanted the three. They wanted to go for it. But when have we ever seen a unit that didn't want to go for it in that situation, right? Sometimes it's just way more important to have the points on the board than to worry about any type of a gamble. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 at the 24. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Play action now, Winston. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He's going to air this thing out deep for Thomas. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone but could not hang on. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. A good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I've got a good friend in football who talks about predictive history. He's got one of their two touchdowns. You can understand why they tried to find him again. Weren't able to connect, but the thought, that was good. Jameis again. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 26. Jameis now on first down. That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. 26 yards. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. They'll try and throw for it. It's caught at the one. And he will get into the end zone. And a two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. What well, may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. It's a game of seven. 
Brings up second and three at the 48 yard line. McCaffrey. And yeah, good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 54 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. The Lance now to throw. Looking for the out route, and he's got it. It's complete to McCaffrey. And they're going to move it down to inside the 25. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. This defense needs a big play in the worst way because so far, they're not putting up much of a fight. If they don't get a stop here soon, this game could be over for them. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. I think as a running back in this spot, you have to understand there's not going to be a whole lot of room to run. And in this case, Ball protection takes precedent over trying to make something happen. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Now they send a man in motion right. Lance looking to throw out to his left. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially at this point of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. The kick by Gold is good. Well, I don't know if they would have gone for it on fourth and goal anyway, but the sack on third down pretty much made their mind up for him. You're exactly right about that. And this is a tough place on the field to take a sack because, as you just noted, it took the decision making away from them. Now they have to go for a field goal instead of potentially going for it. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partners, a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. So now after the sack, Winston and the Saints needing to figure out what to do. Tough play, third and long. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Desperation time. Winston on fourth down. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by...
Hey, check it. Okay, I feel unstoppable. Losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. Bright lights, game on the line, do what I gotta do. Time after time, we do the impossible. You ain't made it till you got stylus. Go out and shop for you.